So here we go, the big action. We are ready for the final. Well, Simone Alessio from Italy, winner of the President's Cup this year, coming into his first ever final in the lightweight division. That fifth place at the home Grand Prix, nice high five between coach, volunteer and fighter. Smiles all round. Chances for him to be smiling at the end of this one, Sarah. Big ask. Yes, I think it is, but, you know, as I said yesterday, he was enjoying it, he's new, he's fresh. I think he will go out dying, as we know our very own Bianca Walton does every single time. I think he will go for it. Yeah, I tend to agree with you. He's a consistent fighter, very strong. Ahmed Abagosh, well, he's like his kicks, sometimes up and sometimes down. Which version will we see tonight? He's been on form at the Worlds. How has the 24 hours of rest treated him? Well, a crowd favourite, Ahmed Abagosh. Deserving of everyone's respect. The Olympic champion, and deservedly so for a reason. To just a massive upset in Rio, came from nowhere. He's now the hunter rather than the hunted. He's the top man in the division. Expectations are high for him. Yeah, of course, yeah, you know, to be Olympic champion and crowd pleaser. People want you to win, and again, it's up to him how he handles that. Does he put pressure on himself? He doesn't need to because everyone loves him here. We just want him to do well. We want a great fight. We want a great final for the minus 74 category. That's all we want. That is indeed all we want. As you see, a packed arena here in Manchester, standing room only. Saturday night is indeed all right for fighting. And in terms of the matchup here, Ricardo Santiago Jr. from the Philippines taking charge of the proceedings here. And Abad Abagosh going against Simone Alessio. Alessio, the taller of the two, by a considerable margin. Eight centimetres taller. And it looks to be all in the legs, Sarah. That is a big, big height difference where we know Abagosh is not the tallest for this weight category. Come, coming up from his Olympic weight category, you know, maybe taking a rest from dieting. But there'll be no rest for the wicked in this one. Straight away, Abagosh in red from Jordan. Footwork, pivotal for him. Good back leg turning kick from Alessio. Yam John given for holding the leg on the inside. Good work from the ref, sees it coming. Good punch on the way through from Abagosh. Seems well, pretty much irrelevant to say it, but I'll say it anyway. A real difficult day to get into that distance for the fighter in red. Most definitely, yeah. No, you're right. I was going to say exactly the same thing. He, he has to use his speed and his power to get in that close distance. But Alessio Simone really controlling it, the distance really well. Tried the punch again. As you say, going with that punch, good back leg turn the kick inside from the taller Italian in blue, and he stands straight up there, not sinking down and mirroring the body language of his opponent, saying, no, you deal with me. Good response from the Italian. Yeah, great response. You know, you can always try and, if someone's a little bit more, try and pressure out of the movement and their, their, their style, you can mirror that. But he's not, he's standing, no, no, no. And he makes a point of that. As you see, trying to make a point on the inside. But it is the Italian showing that confidence. As the referee gives some running repairs to the whole group, the body protector, make sure it's all tied up. But well, we were all tied up until that initial gam joint. And Abagosh touching the shin guards there. Of course, they wear head guards, arm guards, leg guards, and indeed groin guards. And they are on guard now. Back leg turn and kick from both. And it's a good start here. This final bubbling away nicely. I think Abagos is doing really well. Excellent front leg on the way in from Alessio. <laughs> Alessio really controlling the distance, controlling the ring, looking really confident. 30 seconds to go in the first round. As you see, the clock ticking. And it's been a good start from the Italian, running in with a punch again, Abagosh. And the front leg has been the feature.
for Simone Alessio, deserving of that lead. As we peek towards in the last 10 seconds, now Abagos just calming down, saving his energy. What a headshot there from Alessio. Flicks out the first one, lands the second one. And in terms of textbook technique and timing, Alessio picks a winner. Abagos finishes with a punch. But he took an absolute belter to the face there. 6-1 in favour of the Italian. Some shot. Wow. I think you probably might hear my uh, commentator there. I mean, wow, that was a surprise and that was a hard hit. Wow. I'm surprised he didn't get a standing count. Uh, the second action. Wow. For someone so tall as well to have that control over such a heavy, longer leg. And we see it in the lighter weights. But that is some skill. As you say, skills paying the bills here in this final in the under-74s. Alessio came in as the underdog. He's very much in the lead here. Here we go, second round. 6-1 in favour of the taller Italian in blue, Alan Abagosh. The proverbial mountain to climb now. Well, he's got the spinning skills. But we did say that Alessio looked very focused on the way in. Good front leg again from the big man in blue. Abagosh has a little concerned look at the scoreboard. Seven points of a distance. Punch again from a big long distance. Alessio Simone is covered that punch every single time. Abagosh does need to find something else to do now. He's getting into that short distance and then not really doing anything after that. He has to work a bit harder. But certainly working hard is the Italian on the way through. Another headshot. As you see, the work rate needed for Abagosh. Tries a little hook kick to the body, looking for that variety that you mentioned. But it's more of the same from Alessio. Eight points up, punch lands this time. And the Olympic champ hanging on in there. I'd have to be careful. I think he's going to walk on to some of those body and head shots if he keeps rushing in. And as you say, that also close with the headshot. Big punch up and over. Referees liked it. Body shot from Alessio. On the way in again. Nice push over. Gamjung for Abagosh. The crowd are absolutely loving Alessio Simone. And rightly so, plenty for them to love. The big man in blue sneaking ahead, but Abagosh, he's only managed some punches on the board. Well, it worked for Bianca Walton yesterday. She took that world title with that one punch that punctuated well, a controversial match. This one has been plain sailing in terms of that, but Abagosh with the left leg on the inside, trying every trick in his considerable book. But who can book a spot on top of the podium here at the moment? Alessio, good value, half a minute to go in the second. Again, we just think he can kick in that long distance with those long legs and then scoring in that short distance. Alessio Simone is really putting, showing us all his skills, all his variety. And indeed, all of his physicality as well, leaning on there in the clinch. Abagos trying to work hard on the way through, 10 points of a gap. The Jordanian will cut that to nine with the gam jump as we go into the crucial last ten seconds. Sinks to his knees, tries another punch on the way through. Well, the judges liked it. And Simono Alessio couldn't have asked for a better start, but a good response for Abagosh. He's found something that's working as we creep towards the last seconds of an engrossing second round. Double points on the board. 21 scored, the lion's share for Alessio. And he's in with a shout of going for gold. So Abagosh, we've seen that he can do everything. Let's talk about Alessio. His match management has been really good. Amazing. Even better than yesterday. He looks like he has a, he's been in a World Championship final before. He's loving every minute. He just looks so mature, composed, experienced. And he's only 19 years old. Exactly right. And just to give some context to this, 
Great Britain's Bradley Sindon took the first World Championship gold for a British man. This would be the first Italian gold for a British, uh, for an Italian man as well. First time to grab that gold medal. So can Alessio do that on the way through here? Here we go. Good punch again from Abagosh on the way through. Seven points of a gap. Alessio again with that front leg. Abagosh shorter in stature. Can he find a way through? Good push again. Lots for the Italians to cheer. Can Abagosh pull this back with those punches? Maybe. <laughs> a perfect timing with the punch. Speaking of time, a minute and a half to go. How much do the judges like it? Can he make it all the way through with punches? He needs a, a headshot at some point. Thought about it there. But he's good in the clinch as well, the Italian. He is. He is, most definitely. Those long legs. He, he can kick in a range of distances. Fifteen eight now the Gam John Gibbon. Abagosh goes again with the punch, slipping and sliding. The Italian shows his balance. Simone Alessio working hard here. Nice little flick up to the body there on the inside. I think Abagosh is gaining confidence with those punches. Is Alessio Simone has his confidence gone a little bit? Can he get back in control of this match? Trying to control Abba. it, there's a big headshot over the shoulder. Abagosh looking a little bit tired now, he's tried for three rounds. How he can get around those long legs of Alessio Simone. Standing tall again. Controlling the ring. And good value for it, gets a little punch on the way through Abagosh, as you see, controlling the ring. Alessio, Half a minute to go, back kick attempted there from Abagosh, looking for the big point scores on the board. Switches one round the corner, can he find an option here? One spin from Abagosh to the head could change this whole match, and we know he can do it. And that punch will help him. Four points of a difference into the last 20 seconds or so. There was the push kick that stops that spinning shot that you mentioned, Sarah into the last 10 seconds now. Well, Italy have never had a male world champion. If a European Olympic, can they find a world champion? Alessio Simone in super form. Ahmed Abagosh from Jordan battling forward. Nice counter kick from Alessio. He's been kick perfect all day. And indeed, over the two days of the world championships, Simone Alessio, the history man, Ecstasy for Italy. And my goodness, he deserved it. A broad smile from the big man in blue. Nice show of respect. Silver for Ahmad Abagosh. And that's what it means to the Italian team, Sarah. Wow, it's an amazing moment, isn't it? <laughs> well, the Usain Boat still finish. And he sprinted to gold there. Never in doubt. Abagosh with silver. Simono Alessio with the goal. And very, very good value for it, Sarah. Yeah, I mean, yesterday he was quite, looked a little bit out of control with his legs, and, but today it seems to have, like, something's happened where he didn't look as out of control of those legs. Sometimes the younger ones, and it's going to grow so quick with such long legs, they can take the time to, to get used to how to use them. And it's probably, it probably looks like it's taken him overnight.